today make sure you guys make sure you guys don't forget to like comment and share under this video but don't forget to press that like button do not forget to press that like button under this video so let's get into it for my top five best point guard of the 23-24 NBA season so at number five I got no other than the shelf Steph Curry uh, printed bus he had another great season Scoring, shoot percentages, top notch, of course, you know, doing this thing, making threes, making highlight plays, you know, making, you know, pretty much he tried everything he could this season of carrying this team, you know, trying, uh, you know, they made the play in, but, you know, of course they got eliminated, and, you know, and, and then they end up not going to the playoffs. But one thing he did win for himself was he won clutch, clutch player of the year. So pretty much he's been clutch this entire season, you know, making uh, clutch plays, game winning shots. You know, Steph Curry did what he can do this season for the Warriors. And, you know, the reason why he's number five on this list, because I'm factoring this list based off, of course, regular season, but into playoff success and so forth. So this just for this season, don't overreact. <laughs> don't overreact, but uh, he's number five on my list solely just because the fact that he didn't make the playoffs he got eliminated but in terms of just st still playing at a high level um you know like i said he won clutch, clutch player of the year and then he also made third team on nba of course he was an all-star this season so steph curry man like i said man he was like i said he pretty much did what he could do this season you know you see the uprise of john the Kaminga playing along with him but you know i it, it just was it just wasn't enough you know to carry that load for the warriors to make it into the playoffs so Curry definitely deserves to be number five on my list. And number four, I got my guy, no other than Tyrese Halliburton. Man, incredible year. Uh, another season averaging a double-double with 20 points. And I think he had, I think, 11 assists, in, uh, uh, 11, 11 assists this season. And then, you know, his incredible playoff run, eliminating the Bucks, eliminating the Knicks, and, you know, heading to the Eastern Conference Finals. And the fact that he, uh, he was the... Uh, the assist champion of the season. Like I said, he led the league in assists, of course, with averaging 11 assists. You know, like I said, man, he is definitely a bright gem for the Pistons franchise. Him, him, Siakam, and uh, Miles Turner are a great trio. And then, you know, they got great young players like uh, Nimhard, good bench, of, uh, you know, TJ McCullen and uh, Obi Toppin and so forth. So Tyrese Halliburton was definitely in his bag this season, despite uh, the second half of the season, he wasn't too well because he was dealing with that hamstring injury. But overall, you know, like I said, leading lean to the uh, <clears throat> leading the Pacers to the playoffs. And, you know, like I said, man, in his highlight film, man, Game Seven, he he was in his bag, dropping 26 points, making six threes, and having six assists. But man, Tyrese Halliburton, man, he was incredible this year. And like I said, he he was pretty much the leader of this team. And, you know, I can't be mad for what he did in the playoffs. Took advantage of opportunities. You know, the Bucks went down with Giannis' injury and Dane playing through an injury. And then, you know, then having a great battle against the Knicks in game seven, or through seven games in the second round to close it off, dropping 26 points, uh, uh, you know, being an aggressive scorer. You know, like I said, man, Hagelburn, once he be aggressive scoring, you know, he already dropping downs. I mean, this dude, got it all you know still he's very young got a bright future still of course you know pretty much he like i said man you can't be mad because he also made third all nba uh um team as well so he deserved to be number four on my list no doubt about it and then number three from the new york knicks no other than the craftsman the lefty craftsman jalen brunson man another uh great year um Pretty much, uh, I think he made second All NBA this season, All Star. You know, carrying the Knicks to another playoff uh, run, another playoff trip. Uh, <laughs> he was in his bag against the uh, 76ers, 
in that first round, I think, in this highlight, I think he dropped, uh, I want to say like 30 plus points, I believe, and uh, 87 assists. I think he had a game where he dropped 40 points and 10 assists against the 76ers in the first round. So, man, Jalen Brunson, like I said, man, I'll talk about him a lot during that series or during, you know, my team analysis about how crafty he is in the mid-range, lefty, use his body, use his size correctly, absorb contact. When he don't try to foul bait, uh, he can finish at the rim, a good three-point shooter. You know, you know, like I said, man, Jalen Brunson was an, another great scoring year as well for the Knicks and overall in the season. And like I said, man, Jalen Brunson – was incredible for the Knicks, you know. Unfortunately, <clears throat> they lost the second round to the Pacers. You know, I think that was dealing with injuries. OG Ananova being out with injuries. Um, you know, uh, Jalen Brunson, man, he was, he was incredible. And then I think in this playoffs, he was averaging like 32 points uh, combined with the first round and second round. So, like I said, he did what he can do. We seen how good of a scorer he is, how crafty he is, how great of a mid-range shooter he is, and you know, despite his height, you know how to absorb contact, use his size, and like I said, man, he's one of the best craftiest scores we got in the league. And you know, he deserved to be number three on my list. Like I said, he had another great year, um, carrying the Knicks to the playoffs, despite Julius Randle being out for the rest of the year, and then still being dominant in that first round against the Knicks. Um, not, not the Knicks against the Seventy Sixers in the first round. So he deserved to be number three on my list. And number two, the Canadian himself. The Mr. Consistent, Shea Gillius Alexander, man. I always say, I always preach he should have won MVP this year, but man, to remain consistent on averaging 30 to 31 points throughout the whole season, he had a stretch in the regular season where he was averaging 31 nonstop. I think he didn't even average under 30 points. And you know, like I said, man, uh, carrying that young team to the playoffs, uh, being the, pretty much the best team in the Western Conference. Um, you know, they were pretty much an exciting team based off of him, Shed, Jalen Williams, um, Lou Dort, you know. So, SGA pretty much was in his bag in the playoffs. Upheld his way against the Pelican in the first round and then was still dominant scoring the ball against the Mavs in the second round. Um, so, I think in the playoffs, he averaged like 30 points a game. Uh, you know, seven assists, six rebounds, um, you know, or – I think I did mix up six assists and seven rebounds. And I think, if, if anything, I, I was more impressed with him. He showed how good defender he is, stealing the ball, and the ability to block shots. And, you know, like I said, man, Shea got such a super-duper bright future. We've seen this with him when he first arrived with OKC, pretty much, when he started getting his bag deeply. And like I said, him, him Luka, and uh, Nikola Jokic, Got one of the best deceleration moves, the body bumps, the mid-range shots. You know, with him, he's literally, to me, the best mid-range shooter on this list simply because he's been doing that ever since his rookie year. And his ability to decelerate, body bump, shoot mid-range shots, like, like, like you've seen in this clip. Um, you know, so it's, I mean, this dude is, has been so consistent the whole year. And, you know, carrying his franchise, leading him today, uh, Playoff appearance, you know, being the best team in the West. And now they got Alex Caruso. I'm going to do a video on that soon, but they got Alex Caruso from the Bulls. And then you got Lou Dort and Caruso, perimeter defense, and they can shoot threes. He really finna drop hella dimes. <laughs> For sure. So SGA, man, deserves to be number two on my list, no doubt about it. And lastly, number one, Luka Magic, Lucha freaking Doncic. Man, scoring champ this season, uh, first team on NBA. Uh, <coughs> you know, pretty much, man, he was dominating the playoffs, uh, carrying the Mavs to the finals appearance since 2011 with Dirk, Jason Kidd. You know, man, Luka was phenomenal this whole uh, regular season and the playoffs. You know, he won Western Conference Finals MVP, deservedly so. So you see in this clip, you know, pretty much is what he's been doing the whole playoffs, just getting buckets, dropping dimes, taking over games. And, you know, Luka Doncic, man, he has been incredible. And he deserved to be number one on my list of the best point guard of this season. So you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do. I love you guys. Jay Boogie is out.